Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my Asana training videos. And in this video, I wanna do something a little bit different today. Normally my Asana training videos are very practical. I'll share my screen and show you how to do things in Asana. Today, I wanna to be a bit more strategic and I wanna talk about why I think Every team that's using Asana needs to have a designated Chief Asana Officer. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like help training your own Chief Asana Officer and you want to learn how to take full advantage of Asana and how to onboard your team properly, then click the link in the description below to learn more about our Asana consulting options. So. Why do you need a chief Asana officer on your team? Well, often with the clients that we've talked to, we often find that Asana is a tool that just gets sort of dumped onto the team without any formal rollout plan or training. And so some people use it well, some people don't, but generally people are kind of expected to figure things out on their own. When this happens, there's nobody responsible for organizing and structuring teams and projects in Asana, so things often get quite messy. There's nobody there to enforce or police best practices. There's nobody available to help with onboarding new team members. And because there is nobody who's ultimately responsible for this new tool, Asana, you end up where usage can kind of fizzle out over time as people use it in different ways and some people don't like it. The account can get very messy and people are using it in all sorts of inconsistent ways. So this is why we recommend designating somebody on your team to be the chief Asana officer. Now, who you choose for this role will of course depend on your business. If you're a small team or, a, or you're the business owner, maybe you even want to take on this role yourself or for a bigger organization, maybe you want to assign this to somebody in a specific department. I recommend trying to pick somebody who is reasonably tech savvy. They don't necessarily have to be, you know, in the IT department necessarily. You maybe don't even have an IT department, but somebody who's pretty good at understanding and learning new technology. You also want to try and pick somebody who's maybe been with the business for a while and has a good understanding of different parts of the business often someone in sort of an operational role where they've maybe touched on or have experience with customer service, uh, deliveries, finance, marketing, you know, maybe they've just been exposed to a few different parts of the business. And you also want to try and pick somebody who's a good communicator, who you think is gonna be able to support and train new team members, because that's ultimately gonna be one of their responsibilities. Now your chief Asana officer or CAO is ultimately going to want to have a really good understanding of the Asana tool. Now, you don't need to train everyone on your team how to use every single feature of Asana. Most of the day-to-day -day users on your team using Asana just need to understand the basics like how to create a task, how to keep it up to date, the process of sort of updating tasks and projects, how to manage their My Tasks and how to check their inbox. For most users, that's gonna be enough. But your chief Asana officer is also going to, gonna to want to have a good understanding of more advanced features, things like custom fields, rules, forms, uh, templates, timeline, portfolios, workload, goals, more of the, they wanna have a really good understanding of the breadth of what Asana can do because they can then work with other people and other departments to customize Asana and projects for different parts of the business. The CAO is also someone that people can turn to if they need help uh, setting up a brand new project or extracting data out of Asana. Maybe you wanna do some reporting on the work that's being completed or how resources are being allocated. So the CAO is someone that can help to extract that kind of data to make available to the team. A big part of the CAO's responsibility is helping the team to adopt Asana. So obviously in your initial rollout, if you're new to Asana, they will take the lead on rolling out Asana in the best way, making sure it's structured correctly, training the team, showing them here are the best practices, here's how we use Asana on a daily basis. So that includes not just how to use the tool and what features to use, but also the principles that govern how we as an organization actually use Asana. Things like who's responsible for creating new projects, who should be the one completing tasks, uh, who's responsible for updating goals, you know, more of the actual processes and principles that govern how we use and uh, 
get value out of Asana. This person is also going to be responsible for helping to onboard new team members. If you hire someone new and Asana is serving this really important role where it's the tool that your team uses to collaborate, we need to onboard this new team member. So they're gonna be in charge of making sure they understand uh, uh, what projects and teams they need to be working in and how to use Asana on a daily basis. And finally, this person is an internal resource or basically your own internal Asana expert that members of the team can turn to if they ever need help with Asana. So if someone needs help setting up a new project, setting up goals, building out templates, or maybe they're just struggling with ma managing their tasks and their inbox, the CAO is your own internal Asana expert that can help and guide members of your team. Ultimately, we find that when you identify somebody on your team to be the chief Asana officer, usage of Asana just gets lifted. Everyone starts using it better because now there is somebody who is responsible for making sure it's being used properly. There's someone accountable for making sure Asana is being successfully rolled out. And you've also got that internal expert that can support the team instead of people just having to figure it out on their own. So if you would like to train yourself or maybe someone on your team to be your company's own internal Asana expert or chief Asana officer, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my master Asana program. In this program, you get access to me and the experts on my team so we can help you to build out or clean up your Asana account. We will train this CAO to be your internal Asana expert. We'll help you understand different features and how you should be using them within the business. And ultimately, uh, my goal by the end is for your CAO to be as competent as me or one of the experts on my team at using Asana. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.